Hello everyone, we are getting ready to mix our, what they call Mel's Mix, and it's um, one part vermiculite, one part peat moth, and one part compost. So I have the vermiculite here. Um, I got the bigger bags because I wasn't exactly sure how much I needed, so he says it's better to buy it in bigger bags because then you um, this, it's less money that way. And so I got three bags of that. Uh, that's all they had. It was towards the end of last year that I got that. Um, peat moss is the other one third. And then compost. Now, compost, I was actually watching a video on YouTube. Some really good videos out there about gardening. And since I have never done this before, I, um, of course, had to do my research. So I caught this video. He was saying how towards, actually it was in November, I, this was, that was recorded. And he was saying that he went to Home Depot and they had this, this, well, I think it was a different brand he got um, on sale and it was about a dollar and then he went to the restroom and came back and it was actually had gone on to 89 cents. So actually I got this from Home Depot, it was a really good price. It was, I think, 64 cents it had gone down to, it was a dollar, but actually it was more, it was, I think, 10.99 and then it had gone down to a dollar and then they reduced it even further. So it was about 69 cents when I picked this up and I picked up 11 um, um, bags of it because I could use it for other stuff. And it says one man's trash is another man's garden treasure. So I got that and um, I got some fertilizer. I was looking for, I don't know, it's called blood and f fish blood and bone or something. but. I couldn't find that, so I got an all-purpose fertilizer. And then, here, sorry for the shadows, but here you see it's a big mound of compost. Now, in my um, town, they actually give or they set out compost for free, so you can actually go to where they deposit this. It's just off of um, this little side street that you can actually go there and fill up your truck, your pickup, whatever, um, of how much compost you need it. So that was great. It's free resources, so I wanted to stay within a budget, so this was great to find because I needed more compost and stuff for the amount of garden I had and other little areas I wanted to top up, and this was a great resource that was available to me and it was free so it didn't cost me anything other than going there and a bit of labor to get it into the vehicle and get it home of course I had that free labor too because my you know my husband so he helped me get that so we're going to mix up the three um, things needed to make a mouse mix now it's not going to be perfect because I only have so much peat moss so much vermiculite and so much compost and they're not in equal parts they will be close, but it's what I have, and I don't have, I have a budget, and I want to stick with it, so getting the compost for free was really good, it helped with the budget, and I'll come back and show you when I have it all mixed up. Okay, so I've just made a little um, well, a little indentation or, you know, space in the middle of the compost pile. And then I'm just going to add the peat moss, the other compost that I got, and the vermiculite into the bigger compost pile. And then just turn it all in, mix it all up, water it, and then fill it up into the two garden beds that we have. So I'll bring you back when I've got it all mixed and i um, putting it into the garden. Okay, so this is the little pile we have left after we filled up the two garden beds. The eight foot, four foot by eight foot, and then these two pots, mostly filled. I have a little bit left over in a garbage can that we're not using. I filled up to fill these up. We're gonna plant potatoes in these two. Hopefully that works out. And um, 
I just wanted to show you this kind of really sunny out here. Sorry about that. It's um, landscaping fabric that I got at Oldies because I priced it at Lowe's and I priced it at Home Depot and it was like $44 was the cheapest I found it. It was crazy priced. I'm like, oh no, we got to find something else that we can do. Um, but I found this at Oldies and it was two dollars and 43 cents I think two dollars and change um, and it was enough to uh, line the two beds and we have a little bit left over should we ever need it for anything but yeah and I mean it's probably not the best that you could find um, like the ones in Home Depot and Lowe's but come on that's like a difference of forty dollars it's like crazy like no and it has a five year warranty like please i don't think my boards are gonna last that long because the not pressure treated so that's the way i wanted i didn't want to try to keep as much chemicals out of the things that i was using for the garden so i'm gonna take you over now and show you the bed that it's filled hold on one second Okay, these are the beds that are filled. Now they have the mix in them. That's the other one. Sorry about the wheelbarrow in the shot. But. And then back there is my compost. Yay! Just started my compost. Never done compost before, but there's some crazy stuff going on in there. But anyway, um, so these two are filled. And I'm going to get the... The supports are on. I'm going to get the strings going. Then I'm going to get the trellises in. And then I'll show you the finished product before I start planting.